Toolkit RC has a new charger. It's called the Q6AC. And if you ask me, most probably it's the last charger you will ever need. But dear FPV professor, why you might ask? The answer is both straightforward and somehow complicated. Let me show you exactly what I mean that this really, honestly, might be the last charger you will ever need. You have to admit this is a bloody behemoth of a charger. It's just huge. Still, I have to admit it looks kinda nice on your desktop because it clearly shows some Tesla Cybertruck vibes. Admit it, it's clearly inspired by the Tesla Cybertruck. What goes where and let's begin from the top. On the top over here you have the wireless charging for your smartphone. Just turn the charger on, put the smartphone on the charger and it should start charging automatically. Nice touch, not strictly required, but still a nice touch for sure. Also in the top front section you get the big LCD screen and two buttons used to drive the charger. On the left exit and the channel change button and on the right a roller and the press button. It's basically the same user interface as all the other Toolkit RC chargers and not only are you Using, so you will not have much problems of using this thing at all. On this side you get the AC input and the power on off switch how cool is that? And first of the four channels. By the way, both channel 1 and the channel 4 on the other side are the dual purpose channel. They can be used to charge both XT60 and XT30 up to 6S. In the front you get another two channels. Channel 2 and channel 3, they are only XT60 and also only 6S. And on this side you get the channel 4. One more time, XT30, XT60, external input which is an XT90, really like a huge plug, you will not just connect the battery over there, you have to have a special XT90 wire that luckily is in the set, and also the USB output. It has both the USB-A and the USB-C. And in the back you get two fans. Both fans are 40mm fans, and thanks to that, although they are audible, they are not obnoxious loud. You will hear them, but your ears will not bleed. In the way of usage, after turning this thing on, you will see rather standard Toolkit RC user interface. But this time, of course, scaled up to four separate channels. You can use the channel button to cycle between active channels, and then you see only one channel per screen. But after long press on the channel button, you get the four-in-one screen that shows you all the parameters of all the four channels at once. Per channel feature set is rather standard. You can of course choose the battery type, number of cells, mode, we have storage, discharge and charge, as well as discharge mode and voltage and separately charge and discharge current. Of course, charging current per channel is rather big because like I mentioned, it's 15 amps, but let's be honest, the discharge current is much smaller. On 6S LiPo, it's limited to around 600 milliamps, which voltage times current gives you a limit of approximately 15 watts. And that means that the battery with less cells, you will be able to discharge it with more current. But in all of the cases, it will be limited to approximately 15 watts, so 6S around 600 milliamps. And that would be all if not the fact that each channel has the separate status LED which tells you what the channel is doing. And now it's time for the most important part of this video. What are my thoughts about this charger, the Toolkit RC Q6 AC. After using this thing for the last one and a half weeks, I have to say I'm impressed. First of all, I love the fact that it can be powered from the mains and you do not need a separate power supply for this thing. Let's be honest, using a charger without the integrated power supply is almost always irritating. And the number of wires and the boxes in your workshop is just growing. Being able to power this thing straight from the power socket it's just so much more convenient 
period. And I just love the fact that they added the power switch to this thing. Really, honestly, how complicated it is to add a power switch to every single charger. It should be a standard, but it isn't. Q6AC has a power switch and it's bloody amazing. 15 amps per channel and 4 channels means that you can charge a lot of lipos at once. With parallel charging boards, charging 16 lipos at once is really absolutely not a problem for the Q6AC. But please do remember that the parallel charging boards can be dangerous. I found out about this hard way when some some fire just broke over there, so I'm currently not charging with the parallel charging boards at all. And just having four separate channels in one charger is such a bliss for me. Two channels have the options to charge both XT60 and XT30. If you ask me, I would really prefer if all four channels had this option. I think I know what was the reason of doing that, because the switching mechanism just takes space. But still, I think it would be better if all four channels were dual purpose. But okay, I suppose we can just live with that no problem. Then, from my perspective, the option to use this thing as the wireless charger for your smartphone is well meh. And the same goes for the USB output. Yeah, it's nice. I have different ways of powering my USB devices, so I do not really care that much. And then there is one more thing. How loud is this charger? And the answer is that, well, it's not quiet, but it's not super loud as well. First of all, it has two separate fans. It has four channels to cool and also has the integrated power supply, that means it can internally generate quite a lot of heat. And that means that the fans will just have to work. However, because the fans are not the teeny tiny 30 by 30 millimeters, but slightly bigger, they also work on a slightly lower RPM and as the result the noise is just not that much irritating. It's there you definitely can hear it, but overall it's not that bad. I had much louder chargers and also more quiet, but those had nose fans, so that's a completely different story. And finally, nice and simple user interface. You have access to four channels at once. You can change between the bright and the dark mode. I personally prefer the dark mode on the LCD. And as a result, you have in my opinion, the best charger you can get. Everything I have or had in the past just cannot really compare. Not perfect, but try to find anything better. I cannot. So, what you think about the Q6AC? Drop your thoughts into the comments. And also, if this is not probably the best charger money can buy, then what is? What should a perfect LiPo charger have so that you think it's really the best? Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. This was the FPV University. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying.